स्टेट फगन सिंह कुलस्ते साहेब सेक्रेटरी स्टील नागेंद्र नाथ सिन्हा साहेब आर इस्टीम्ड पैनलिस्ट हु हैव ट्रूली इनलाइटन अस टुडे सेक्रेटरी स्टील सी एम डी ऑफ सिन्हा साहेब आर इस्टीम्ड पैनलिस्ट मेंबर्स ऑफ माय मिनिस्ट्री ट्रूली इनलाइटन अस टुडे माय डायरेक्टर्स एंड मेंबर्स अक्रॉस द बोर्ड हु वर्क टुगेदर to make this ministry function in as i s u r esteemed in the most members of fat ministry and energy and light present here today so let me first uh, start by saying that um, this is our third chintan shivar and the prime minister is very clear in his articulation in terms of the purpose of these chintan shivars in ministries in the public sector in the private sector as we chart our path and as responsibilities devolve and evolve onto us we inevitably end up working in our area of specialization concentrate and deepen our intellectual property within our area and our domain of concentration but it has been proven across the world across companies across organizations and even if i may say so across governments that those companies those organizations and those governments that are most productive are only ones that provide a continuous learning platform that not only deepens your engagement within your area of specialization but along with deepening your engagement it also broadens your knowledge scope of where your industry is evolving where external pulls and pressures are pulling your industry or pushing your industry and how we must continually evolve to become much more productive to be able to give back much more value to society and in that aim in that mission and that vision of giving back much more to society provide a learning impetus within our own organization and that is the single purpose of the organization of these chintan shivars that we've been having within our ministry the prime minister has been very clear in his articulation that we must like we evolve learning organizations we must evolve learning ministries and therefore over the last year year and a half two years every six months or so we've had a chintan shivar that have covered very topics today's two topics both cbam as well as ai both are not only topical but also i imperative in today's manufacturing era we all live within the womb of mother earth and while we manufacture for our needs we must make sure that we must check our greed mahatma gandhi ji once said that the world has enough for everyone's need but not enough for everyone's greed and it is our fiduciary responsibility to protect mother earth for the generations to come that responsibility rests on us and therefore whether it is green steel whether it is cbam
that is the direction in which we must proceed. And let me very clearly state in this forum that in the next decade or two, the whole concept of steel production in the world is going to change. The way we function today will be a thing of the past in the next two decades. And therefore, as Prime Minister said, we must reform, we must transform, and we must perform. And that is the mantra that we must all inculcate. And it is through these chintan shivers, whether the concept of CBAM and how Europe is looking at carbon emissions. Our carbon emissions are roughly about 2.55, whereas international norms are about 1.58, 1 1.8 and 1.9. So uh, tons per CO2 per ton of crude steel produced. So we still have a long way to go. And there is paucity of time. And so how are we going to progress quickly down that path? towards green up ways of making steel, towards evolving a path towards lower carbon emission. And along with that, a partner in that progress will be the concept of AI. And how artificial intelligence will enable us at a very lower cost through the use of technology to put in places as our uh, esteemed panelists have enlightened us, whether it's to do with safety, production processes, new innovative solutions, all of that gamut of activity will be encased within AI in the years to come. Both of these concepts are prevalent today and therefore they were chosen for today's Chintan Shiver. I must say that I walk away enlightened and I must thank our panelists for both our sessions and we must have a round of applause for both of them. Very clear in their articulation, have been extremely helpful, but what I would like all of us to do for the next Chintan Shiva, the one thing that I did notice in this is that while the enlighteners were on the stage, there weren't enough probing questions from all of us that were in the audience to further enlighten our own path. So we must do a little bit of reading before we come to these Chintan Shivers on the topic that have been chosen. We must always come with some prepared questions which may sound very simplistic to the panelists because they are specialists in their field, but we are novices in this area. And therefore, through your elementary question, also you will be enlightening a lot of your brothers and sisters who are present in this room. And therefore, do not be shy. Do not be reticent. Do not think that it's too simple a question that you're asking. Because a simple question also can bring with it tremendous amounts of knowledge for the community. And therefore, please be inquisitive. Because in your career and in your path, it is your level of inquisitivity and your level of desire to pursue knowledge and broaden your perspective, deepen your perspective both that will lead to your ultimate success. That is one of the reasons why we have the dashboard meeting every Monday. Generally, otherwise, within ministries, everyone tends to work in their silos. When their topic is complete, they go off and go back into their silo. But when you work on a dashboard, you understand the whole of ministry approach. Just as the Prime Minister wants us to understand the whole of government approach. And therefore it is imperative that it, for your career path to also progress. 
you both widen and deepen your knowledge base. And it is through Chintin Shivers like this that I have personally been extremely enlightened and increased my knowledge base. So I must thank our panelists in both our panels, three in one and four in the other, that have done a tremendous job of uh, taking us down that path. It's been an extremely interesting uh, Chintin Shivar. Thank you very much for participating, and thank you very much, our panelists, for doing a stellar job uh, at what you were tasked out to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Abhar Maniniya Spath Pantriji.